is this a positive for you? I mean, you, you grew up in South Central. You've seen this your whole life, as you mentioned. Now there are people from all different walks of life who are addressing this issue, at least saying they care about this issue and want solutions. Is that important to you? Have you seen this before? And are you hopeful that it will be different this time? I mean, let's be honest. I am so happy, finally, that people are seeing both sides of the coin and that they're out there marching and protesting. And, and, and that's great. That's great but there needs to be more effective change made. There needs to be more done. And I'm grateful and thankful that people see what we're going through over here and they have an understanding and they're like, this has to stop. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful and thankful. But y'all need to be making these phone calls to these politicians, to these, to these su board supervisors and the mayor and the councilmen. And the, there needs to be change made and there needs to be an effective way of dismantling the system of oppression is systemic. You know what I'm saying, the racism that's been going on for a long time. <laughs> hey, you and I are obviously, we're in show business. I have seen uh, so many uh, cop movies, cop shows over the years. I would call myself a fan of those kind of shows. And yet I realize as we go through this, so many of the cops that are framed as heroes often make choices that require them crossing a line because we see it from their perspective, we think, well, they know, they know the right time to cross the line. Do you worry that the way police are perceived and growing up like you did in, in South Central, was that something that was always strange to you? I'm sorry, hold up, I'm sorry. There is a man at my door and my guard dog, the Motif, okay. is losing it. That's my little white dog, she protects me, hold up. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Seth. That's all right, Tiffany. I'm sorry, but the dog would have barked the whole time until. <laughs> how, how, with the side, now I'm not a, a dog expert, but based on the bark, that's not a, a large dog. No, she's like seven pounds. Sleeper! This my, is this my, this my baby girl right here. Sleeper! <laughs> She's like, I'm not working right now. Nobody's ringing the doorbell. I'm not coming up. She didn't get her hair and makeup. She didn't get her blowout. <laughs> she's a little uh, Motice Yorkie mix. And now she's my white guard dog. She protects me. Um, do you feel uh, as though there's a dangerous uh, element to how, how police are portrayed on television and in films? I think that, you know, I wish it was more truthful. There are some movies that are very true. Like... <laughs> I feel like training day was like right on the money. See, I dated many police officers thinking I would be protected and be safe that way. Turns out, no. Um, turns out, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. <laughs> but um, lesson learned. You know, you live, you learn. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, Hollywood is Hollywood. They, they're telling stories. And, and there's not always truth in those stories. And there's some truth. There's like bits and tidbits of truth. And I feel like, um, I remember when I wanted to be a police officer. And then sure. I started, I remember being seven, eight years old, like, I want to be a police. Because, you know, TV portrays them as upright citizens that, you know, they're protect, they're here to protect and keep the peace. And then as I get older, as I'm outside more, especially when I went into foster care, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. I see them antagonizing, cre creating drama amongst people I, I, I was talking to my friend the other day she's like well why y'all keep killing each other if you guys didn't kill each other girl if you don't shut i was like if you don't shut up first of all let's break down why people kill each other and don't sit up here and act like white people don't kill each other because there is a whole channel called the id channel that i could sit and watch all day white people killing each other and never will there be a rerun they they show different new new murders every day but you watch the news for 30 minutes to think we over here slaughtering each other. And if that's the case, we would all be gone, wouldn't we? <laughs>